Hi, I'm Chef Leander, and this is Small Kitchen Big Taste. We're gonna do something a little bit different. We're using quinoa in a savory recipe. So that being the case, we're going to toast the quinoa. No, not toast the quinoa. We're going to put the quinoa in a hot pan. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, and we're gonna let that warm up. And you can see here that it will begin to toast. How do you know it's toasted? There's not really anything you can look at, but you'll definitely smell the fragrance as it begins to toast. Yeah, it's starting to sizzle and pop a little bit. Rather than take the next 20 minutes to do that, let me just show you what happens from here. Uh, once you're smelling the aroma, then you're ready to put the water in. One cup of water goes in the pan. You can hear it's good and hot. We'll let that water come to a full boil. We're going to turn the heat down. Then we're going to begin to make the filling. And so we need a larger pan for that. 375 is where we're going to cook. We'll use a little bit of olive oil. By the way, the reason you cook at 375 is that at 350, all of the carbohydrates in your uh, foods begin to turn to sugar. And so it's called caramelizing, and it's how you get that great flavor. So this is onion. That's one white onion. Sorry, one yellow onion. And we're going to let that start to cook and sizzle. This is the quinoa that I cooked just like you saw, except I cooked it earlier today. I have the juice of two limes, and I have some cilantro that I chopped up a couple of days ago, put it in a uh, paper towel with a little bit of water, and I'm just going to sprinkle some, some cilantro in there. And now we have lime cilantro quinoa, much better for you than lime cilantro rice. This is now ready, it keeps going. And I'm going to add just a little more olive oil. And then we're going to add one package of Boca crumbles. Now this will stick to the bottom of the pan, but not to worry. We have a solution for that. We're just going to let this heat up a bit. It doesn't really need to brown, it's cooked, but we do want to get it heated through. Pour just a little water in there to steam it. That definitely gets it warm. And you can see a little more of that stick into the bottom. That's called fond, and that's where all the concentrated flavor is. So we'll come back to that in a moment. We're going to add corn. To this mix, one package of corn, one can of beans that has been drained, not necessarily rinsed, but drained, and then an entire can, jar, of salsa. Now we're going to stir that up. Now we've got some stuck to the bottom of the pan. And I hope you can see that right there. There's a pretty good layer stuck to the bottom of the pan. Add some water. And all of that stuck just comes right off like magic. And all of that flavor that is caramelized at the bottom of the dish is now flavor in your food. And it's wonderful. 
okay? If you've ever heard or seen a recipe that says deglaze the pan, that's what we just did. That's exactly what we just did. It's called deglazing the pan. And it's taking the fond, it's taking that stuff that's caramelized on the bottom of the pan and using a liquid, usually acidic or water, um, wine, liquor, um, and you use that to pull it up off the bottom of the pan and then you've got all that flavor in your meal. Now the last thing we need to do is put in about a half cup of vegan cheese. This is pepper jack cheese and so it's going to give a little bit of extra spice to the whole thing and that is our filling. We add the quinoa for another boost of protein and a boost of uh, change of texture and now that filling is complete. I'm Chef Leander to your health.